Gemini, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we're gonna be pulling some messages that are gonna help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time. If there is a certain amount of money or a specific person that you have in mind, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, you've got to check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Look, if you are not, well, we'll put it like this. Abundance comes from having an abundance mindset. Now, sometimes we don't see what the point of having these ha ha progressing is sometimes. Sometimes we can feel like we can settle, right? We can think we just wanna, s we're just settling with the life that we have, right? It's almost like, well, I'm never gonna attain the money I want, never gonna get to where I wanna be. My relationship is what it is, so you know, what's the point? We kind of feel like this, what's the point? We kind of settle, right? We kind of lose our inspiration and our motivation to keep going. Before we dive into this reading, we want you to use, utilize this affirmation for the day. Write this down in the comments below. Let the universe know you've heard them and you are ready. I am worthy of making more money. I am worthy of making more money. Write it down. As you write it down, say it out loud. If you would like to receive more love as opposed to money, you can say, I am worthy of attracting love. Either way, money and love is the same frequency. But we want to remind you something, Jeff, okay? And that is that you are a healer. No matter which way you spin it, you are gifted with the power of being able to heal others. Now, the healing of others comes from first healing yourself. Healing yourself does not mean focusing on the worries of your life, the woes of your life, okay? The things that you are lacking, right? The lack of money, the lack of health, the lack of, of love, whatever it is, right? That five of pentacles showing up is insinuating that it's time to change your mindset. Now, what we want to remind you of is that the approval you desire from others, the sense of satisfaction, gratitude, success, achievements, all of that is going to come when you stop focusing on the fact that you either want it or you don't have it, okay? What needs to happen is you need to cultivate a, a, a morning routine and an evening routine that is going to align you with the outcome of the desires that you're longing for. Now, it's very important that we understand this, right? Life is gonna throw you curveballs. This never ends. More money, more problems. You probably heard that. That is the truth, right? So at the end of the day, no matter what, there's always gonna be adversity that you face. The adversity that you face shows you what kind of person you are. Now, let's be honest, right? Your soul is incredible and absolutely just splendid. However, we wanna remind you that if you're, the pain from life takes you out, you're telling the universe, I am not ready for more, okay? So every time you experience pain, uncomfortableness, and you choose to react to that pain by masking it with drugs, alcohol, or food, right? Or shopping or gambling, but doing something to try to feel better is you telling the universe, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not, I'm not ready for more. I'm not ready for more abundance. I'm not ready for love. I'm not ready for it. I can't handle it. So don't bring it, right? And the universe will, it'll take you out of presence, right? So we want you to really be honest with yourself now, Jem, and ask yourself, what are the vices that you have in your life that are holding you back from being present, right? And I'll be open with this. I've done it all, right? There were days, there was, a lot of my life was, was lived as if the weekend was every day, right? Uh, drug addict, alcoholic, 100%, right? And I'm cool with that because I'm glad that I came from that background because then I wouldn't be sitting here in the hot seat. Trust me when I tell you I've earned this spot, right? So, and then it was food, right? Food's everywhere, can't get away from it. Now, even though I eat healthy, it still was on my mind, you see? Obsession, right? Of, of achieving ultimate success. But the thing is, is that if you are constantly obsessing over something, it means that you are not in the present state unless you are obsessing over something that is purposeful and of service, you see? So the name of the game is to have a routine that, again, aligns you with the desired outcome that you want so that you feel that passion. So what do we want? First of all, you eliminate vices. Second of all, morning routine. You wake up early, it's an offering to the universe. I am waking up early, I'm leaving the comfort of my bed, right? So it's like that pain of when the alarm goes off really early and you're thinking like, who the heck said that? I don't know, I think that's a mistake, right? You're thinking, oh my gosh, it's really early. 
However, when you start to wake up early, right? And you leave the comforts of your bed, you're saying to the universe, I am here, I am ready, I am willing, right? I am a humble student, guide me, right? I am here, present, willing to make the changes that I know I need to make to receive the abundance that is waiting for me. That's what you're saying, right? And so you wake up early and then what do you do? You work out, why? Because you don't want to, that's why, right? Who wants to wake up at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. and work out? Very few of us, right? I, I quite enjoy it only because I've cultivated this practice for many years now, right? So you wake up, you work out. Why do we work out? Because it clears our energy and it raises our frequency. We need to raise our frequency first thing in the morning or we won't make it here on planet Earth. Empaths, we won't make it, okay? My healers out there, just anyone, we will not make it, okay? So you wake up, you work out, you raise your frequency. And then, right, then you cultivate a practice of gratitude. So after your workout, it doesn't have to be long. I only work out for 20 minutes, but it's something that is intense where you're sweating. You are, uh, you are, it's like a sacrifice or it's like an offering to the universe. Here I am doing something that is challenging, letting you know, universe, that I am ready and I am willing to do these things, right? That's, you're letting the universe know I am ready. More money, more problems. It's never going to get easier, right? It's just going to be different things. So when you start the day it, with cultivating this practice, you're letting the universe know I'm ready, right? We can see here that there is abundance waiting for you. But the thing is, Gem, is you really got to take ownership and you really got to be present. You really got to understand that the choices that you are making lead you to the higher outcome, the high, greater abundance, right? Start the morning like this, morning routine. Wake up early, you work out, and then you practice gratitude, okay? So what you're doing is you're clearing your energy, you're raising your frequency. Gratitude unlocks the doors to the universal uh, connection, right? Universal com um, communication. Uh, central intelligence, if you will, right? Where we're from, right? Source energy. You will connect to that. Don't think about it. Don't over... Don't ever process it, just do it, okay? And you will feel that power, right? And what we want you to do is we want you to understand that this routine as well as the evening routine, because when you wake up in the morning, if you're feeling really nasty because you've been overeating and not getting to bed on time, you know, and, 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 and thinking negative thoughts and watching television that is just, you know, polluting your brain, then at the end of the day, it's going to be really difficult for you to wake up in the morning and want to, want to get it. You know what I mean? Want to let the universe know I'm here. I'm willing, right? If you're kind of saying, yeah, I'm here, kind of like, wobbly, right? Are you though, right? Universe is like, are you though? Like it kind of seems like you're struggling, right? And so we don't want to show the universe we're struggling. We want to show the universe I'm here, I'm willing, I'm ready, right? And that means that you got to prioritize the choices that you make, letting the universe know I am here, I'm ready, and I'm willing. Wake up at 2 a.m., work out and cultivate a gratitude practice. And then throughout your day, understand that anytime that you are, uh, that, that you have an ego reaction, right? Where you are fighting, you are not, you are feeling, getting, taking things personally, anything along those lines, you're going to pay karmic debt. Okay. Karmic debt is where you, we pay in time, right? So for instance, you eat those nasty foods that you know, you don't want to eat, but you eat them because you're emotional and you're, you know, curbing pain, right? Then you got to pay three days time to feel better, right? It's three days, three days for anything, right? So at the end of the day, it's always, about just use, utilizing inspiration from your outer world. Take inspiration from your outer world, but trust and know that the intelligence that comes from above, reporting above, that's going to be where your true guidance comes from, right? And the thing is, is that when you understand that you don't need to report to your spouse, you don't need to report to your kids, you don't need to report to your boss or your family members, your, your mother, your father, you know, you don't need to, that's, if you report to those beings, you've lost, you've lost. Now we're being blunt with you because we want this to be very well receptive. Okay. You can, the only way to receive the abundance that you came here to receive and live the life that you came here to live is by understanding that you reporting up to the above, get, gaining your information from there and then applying it in the physical world, the practical world, that's going to be how you continuously excel and expand. Okay. So let go of needing approval of others. It's not going to serve you. It's going to keep you where you are. Are you happy with your life? And if you're not happy with your life, it means that it is time for you to start recognizing about where you're placing your focus and your energy. Because we can see here that there is some creator self-doubt going on with this page of wands in reverse. And it's merely because you don't feel like you bring value. Bull, baloney, bull snips. You bring so much value. The power that you hold is ridiculous and who you actually are. Okay. Not your limiting beliefs and all the doubt and blah, 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 but who you actually are. Gemini is incredible. And the thing is, is that you haven't even begin to uncover the limits, limitless 
available options that you have. Okay. It's limitless. But the thing is, is that you've got to start to prioritize now your frequency. Okay. And your energy, and you've got to wake up in the morning. You got to let the universe know that you're ready. You got to put that work in to let the universe know I am here and I am willing. Okay. I wake up at 2 AM and I work out every single day, not because I don't, I want to, but because it's my offering to the universe. And then in turn, the universe serves me. And then I get to serve all of you. And then it's an abundant life. And this is not to brag. This is merely just to show you what it is to live in alignment, right? Just the other day, we had $30,000 deposited into our account. We didn't even know. We didn't even know. And that's what comes. That's just the bare minimum. We barely even scratched the surface. And so it's really just about understanding that you've got to connect to your truth and let go of trying to serve people in your physical world. It's not about them, right? It's about you and reporting above. That's the only thing that matters. Okay. And so your angels are coming forward with a message today of energy work. Now their message to you is life can be electrifying because it's very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So for some of you that are wondering what your next step is, it might be energy work, Reiki work or quantum touch healing. Um, perhaps maybe even trying this on yourself, cultivating this practice within yourself, maybe in your evening routine, maybe in the morning, whatever feels best for you, but perhaps maybe this is the next step for you, but understand that our energy is everything. For instance, if you eat really nasty foods, you're dealing with that for the next three days of detox. And we don't really connect the dots because the next day you might not feel as bad, but the day after you eat nasty foods, that's when you start to feel really low limiting beliefs, negative self-talk, right? Doubt. And it's because you're spewing out these toxins, right? Poisoning the poisons coming out of your body, but we don't connect the dots because it's been a couple days. We don't even think about it because it's normalized. It's normalized to eat oils and sugars and processed foods. It's like normal. Oh, Hey, you know, kids, here's your, you know, sugary cereal. Like that's going to help you study and learn, right? No, it's just going to create, you know, unfocused energy and a bunch of anxiety, right? And we wonder why we have so much anxiety in our kids and why most of them are overweight, right? We've got to look at and, and realize here, it's the choices that you're making that are going to get you the results. Are your choices aligned with the outcome of your desires? Be real with yourself. Look in the mirror here, Gem. Recognize what vices you may be still choosing to take as opposed to the life of purpose. And it all starts with that morning routine, cultivating that gratitude practice, working out and waking up early, letting the universe know I am ready and I am worthy. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like, and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.